Rose struck home too low. Now his nose glows. Red rose, like Lee Deer, a Mr. Red Beer. Champion of the chip, champion of the chip. Words forgive, plan sense. One family, all kids. So jump on in, take a skinny swim with the crab that's sinister. Appointed by the Red Game Prime Minister. Blessed by BDK, bring peace to the game. The youngest Santa Most popular in the opera Long Dr. Smooth opera Big Daddy Candy Kid Never half stopping our face Hey, we're chasing Bugs be raining Lessons be saying May we all be saved Young Santa Young Santa Young Santa LJ! Welcome to the Temples of the Holy Smoke Earth Community Service. I'm Michael Prince, one of your hosts, hostesses, and I'm going to introduce our founder, our friend, our cannabis supplier, <laughs> Node, JK. But, uh, I am that for him, but we introduce the founder, the star, our friend, Marvin Marvin. Yay! Please stand. Please stand. Marvin, come on out. Please. Okay, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. So, uh, um, today we had over, I think, about 30 people, which is, a, this is our sixth or seventh time. Seventh. So, you know, we've been building up consistently. We don't want to go too much higher than this because of social distancing. We don't want to you know, piss off President Trump. Or, oh, no, Biden. I guess. <laughs> he's, the, he's the one we got to worry about now. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I've got this idea that, uh, um, well, especially with the COVID and the cold weather, that we need a space for a uh, community. And especially since Dr. Bob has discontinued the uh, the uh, uh, drum circle, drum circle. And, and it's it's a little bit it, it's a little bit be a little bit tight anyways with this number of people. But Tommy, you're saying maybe next week we're going to be well. Uh, the role after be- next Sunday, next Sunday we're having it here again. Please, you're all welcome. Bring oh, bring a friend. We can we can handle another 10, 15 people. But anyway, but talk more about next next Sunday. Like two Sundays from now. Yeah, two please from now, go ahead, do, Tom. If, if Tommy gets you know all the permission from the, from Doctor Bob. Yeah, we're thinking about doing the Temple of the Holy Smoke temporarily. Uh, it's a temporary temple at the, <laughs> at the psychedelic healing shack, which is uh, would be on a Sunday. And it's typically the day Doctor Bob takes off to be with his family. So it's possible that I could get uh, his okay to do the Temple of the Holy Smoke. Yeah, by the way, for those that don't know, real quick, uh, four blocks south of Seven Mile on Woodward, on the the east side of Woodward. Thank you. And are are you asking for a donation towards Dr. Bob's? Well, if we do it there, uh, Dr. Bob has to get something out of it because it's a very beautiful space. It has a lot of antique furniture. It has a... There's a lot of things in there that can get broken or, you know, they just wear and tear on the... On the okay, facility. so are we going to have food for sale or food for value? Well, if we can come up with like a $5 come-in fee, it will provide you with the drinks and like soup or something or some snacks. Good. But don't let the money stand in the way of your participation. If you don't have the money, uh, don't worry. Because uh, Tommy will pay twice as much. Thanks, team. Tommy is the man. So, um, besides from doing this every Sunday, we also um, we meet uh, at the Michael's uh, uh, trailer, actually, out in Madison Heights, around 12 Mile and Stevenson, and we we meet there about three or four times, a, five times a week, and we work on a on a, on a Video cast, not a podcast. Podcast is just the you know just audio, but a video cast with with mostly me speaking and other other people. And love to have some more music. Some of you, what you're doing now, 
unless you object, it will probably be broadcast on uh, Facebook at a certain point, you know. Uh, YouTube also, YouTube, YouTube. Pre preferably, yeah. On the Marvin Space Marvin YouTube page, <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> I'm really just a humble man, even though we're going to name Earth Marvinville. <laughs> <laughs> But, I thought we um, did that already. Oh, yeah, we did it. And this is our, our benefactor, Eddie St. Aubin. Thank you, Eddie. Woo! Thank you. And, of course, there's Steve, who was gracious enough to be here to open up the doors. And yeah, thank, thank you, Steve. You. Cheers. Yes, Steve. My pleasure. <laughs> so we're going to introduce... I got to say. I got to yeah. say I envy anyone with hair. <laughs> I haven't been bald since my late 20s. This man's got... Uh -huh. He's got hair. Yeah. You know, once you got hair, hair. what the fuck is this going on? Hey, all right, Bizarro. Hey. Yeah, all right. Bo Diddley, hey. Bo Diddley, hey. All right. Hey, you must be Mark. I'm jealous of your beard, man. I'm bigger. Uh, is this the bald club for men? You can't grow it up here, you gotta grow it down here. <laughs> Nemi, Nemi is, is going to, uh, we bought some purple, and we're gonna be. Purple. We're gonna dye it purple. Right. Yes! Hemp hemp parade! Hemp hemp parade! Hemp hemp parade! Okay, thank you. That's <laughs> 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 what they call the peanut gallery. So you remember how to do the show. I'm sure you all remember. Who remembers the Howdy Doody show? <laughs> Reruns. Uh, oh, yeah. I was there the first time around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're actually having a whole lot of fun because it is uh, a way uh, in a, in a way. Stick it to roll up. We like to honor the great hemp, the great hemp herb. And, and yeah, the, old, the idea of... Uh, I'm a, a, a college professor. I actually retired or, or, or thrown or kicked out. One or the other. I'm not quite sure. And... Uh, I, uh, I've written six books, and one of them is called Hemp, Marijuana, God's Sacrament, the Holy Bible, and You, and that's kind of like our Bible, and it talks about how hemp is, and marijuana was mentioned in the Old Testament, but in other, other religions besides, uh, besides Judaism and, and, and even in, in Christianity, and that's not really well known, I think, uh, and that, but that's a whole other story. Please. I know that smoking weed really trends transformed me and I started doing it um, in September of 1967 so just a few weeks ago and, uh, <laughs> and I got turned on by one of my students because I, I told the story before and I'm not gonna but I was giving my rant against marijuana because I was a good American so I am now and I believed everything the Reader's Digest said about the evils of marijuana and all the you know how it would turn your brain to putty and all these and I was telling my student every every possible lie I could remember and I didn't know it was a lie I thought it was all the reefer truth madness and movie. what's that buddy in the reefer madness movie. oh yeah 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 <laughs> and uh, so after class well, I gave that lecture and then a student came with me and said Mr. Surowitz you're really against it. Have you ever tried it? I said, try it. Are you, are you crazy? Are you trying to kill me? But meanwhile, I wanted to. I really wanted Because <laughs> all the hip kids were <laughs> trying to smoke marijuana. I, I hadn't, he was the first one to actually invite me to participate. I went home. I lived at Wayne State. I told my wife that a student was coming by at 7. He was going to get us, I don't know what the word vernacular anymore, but he was going to get us high. And, and she was afraid, and I was afraid, and we held each other very, very tight. Because <laughs> it was scary, that whole notion of, you know. So uh, he came by, and I was impressed, because he said he'd be there at 7. It was exactly at 7 he showed up. Uh, Eden sat down in her favorite chair in the living room. I sat down in mine, and I, 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 I don't smoke I tried many occasions to smoke a cigarette. I never could. Anybody else a non-cigarette smoker in here? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I just couldn't get... I, I, I inhale, just like Bill Clinton, I inhaled, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> huh? He smoked it, but he didn't inhale. Yeah, that's what he did. I smoked it, I couldn't inhale it. But, so I had trouble. So I said, what do I do with it? You know, he said, I smoke nine joints. I guess that's what you hippies call them. Nine joints <laughs> of this marijuana called Acapulco Gold, which at the time was the, the very best shit you could get. And I said, I turned to him, I said, I don't feel anything. And he said, relax, just relax. I said, relax? I don't know what that word means. I was, you know, that uptight, Jewish, high-achieving kind of thing. And so, relax. I went, okay. 
So I just showed. And the first words out of my mouth was, "Why is this illegal again?" Because I was fine. I was home, baby. I was home. I got high. I got buzzed. I had a wonderful time. I the next thing I said, "What's that?" I had seen the promised land. <laughs> the next thing out of my way, out of my life, was to my wife, "Let's have sex." <laughs> And I didn't make, we didn't make it to the bedroom. I know I woke up the next morning and I was asleep in the living room floor. I had just plumped out. <laughs> Where was the student at? Was, oh, he had, he had, I guess he had, I think maybe he's having sex with my wife. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think maybe he left. I think that's a good question. <laughs> he just disappeared. He was like an angel. You looked him up in the, in the chart and he, there was no student by that name that ever went to med school. <laughs> <laughs> I came in. I came in the next day to class, and I said, "Now listen, there's going to be a few changes from now on. Don't call me Mr. Sterling. Call me Marv. Just I'm a good old Marv." And then later on, as I speak, as I've spoken about this subject about a thousand times all across the U.S., Canada, and actually in Amsterdam, and in, and, and in uh, Jamaica, where I have family, so I. I uh, I said, I'm Marvin Marvin, because it's easier to remember than, you know, there's a few people in the world are named Marvin, but I'm Marvin Marvin. And I said, so let's uh, call me Marvin Marvin and test. Who needs tests? Well, that's the most absurd thing ever. No more tests. And then I said, by the way, let me, let me, let's, we'll sit around in a circle. <laughs> it's easier to pass the joint. And let me tell you about what I did last night. Oh, he must have been there because I remember introducing him and having him tell his part of the experience. So I, I decided somewhere along the line of marijuana, and, and it is and always has been a, 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 a part of religion, a sacrament of, of religion. It's not just something which I don't say is bad at all when we just we smoke for pleasure. Or for whatever reason, but we all can smoke because I know for most of us, we did have some kind of spiritual awakening when we started smoking. And um, one time, for example, there's a school here on Seven Mile, I, I forgot what it's called, and I saw, and it's basically an all black school, but I saw a lot of Arab guys, Arab students, they drove by once and happened to go to a party, and there was these Arab high school students at this party. And I said, How do you get along with all the black kids? I mean, you're obviously a minority. He said, We get along great. I said, how do you happen to get along great? He said, we all get high together. We all get high together. So as you know, marijuana brings peace. It's a peaceful. It's probably hard to shoot somebody when you're stoned, you know, <laughs> to get the aim. So I, I feel that marijuana, as we all know, is a sacrament, and I'm glad we've all lived long enough to see marijuana legalized first medically in, in Michigan, and then recreationally, and medically in most of the states. And, but there's still people in, in, in prison right now you know, in the United States and around the world. And it doesn't make any sense. And that's one of the things I'm trying, we're trying to do is get those people, just stop those stupid laws. They don't make no no sense, you know. They're supposed to um, yeah. legalize it through the whole United States. Yeah, and they yeah. said if they do that, they're going to expunge everybody's record for that. And uh, they're working on it right now. I know that 30 states out of 50 already got medical. And then they said that... Uh, once it, it becomes a national law, they're going to do that. They that'd be, that'd be great. That'd be great. Well, Marvin, thank you for sharing. Marvin, I'm going to introduce, I if I don't, go ahead, please. Wait, <laughs> I got to think of something. Uh, so I, I came up with this idea. We have this Marvin Marvin party show where I just get high and just talk and talk, uh, you know, based on over 50 years of college speaking, I'm pretty good at speaking at all so these marijuana it. events. I'm a pretty good speaker. Michael is a, is a, is a producer. See me uh, for uh, uh, for bookings of uh, guest right guest there. spots. Sorry, say it again. See me for bookings on guest spots. We do have a sign up sheet. If anybody doesn't mind leaving their email address, we don't need your phone number, but that would be helpful if, if you want. Thank you. And then Brandon is a Houston production manager, and he does a great job. And, yes. And we've been meeting all kinds of great new people. Tommy is helping. Tommy's helping a great deal. Yes. The music Coordinating the music. Some of you, most of you, in fact, came here because of Tommy and the music. And the music yeah. We appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Woo. Oh, great. Thank you, Wolfgang. Chuck. So I have one other group that uh, is called the Earth Community, which basically says we're all part of Earth Community. Beyond being Americans or Canadians or black or white, we're all Earth people, you know, men and women of Earth, Earth people. And that's something I'm trying. 
The only way we're going to solve all these these territorial problems is when we see ourselves all as 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 Earth community, and that's really what we are. That we love community. We, human beings are social animals. We love to be uh, with other people. We love to be in in community, and this is an opportunity for all that. And we've got some other ideas too. That's and I'm so thing. glad that I have you know people who are. Finally, understanding how crazy I am and getting behind me, you know, and so yeah, I, and we're oh, looking for interns, to helpers to start with. You Wait. Just brought up of how we're all a community at Earth. Um, that's why so many people are committing suicide right now is because they can't be with people because they're they're isolated because of the government is isolating us, saying you can't be with people. Just suck it up. Well, people aren't meant to be like that. People yeah. are not meant to. Well, stay at home and not go if anybody in this room wants to talk to anybody, they can talk to Marvin. Marvin's willing to talk, <laughs> and myself. I will give my number out to anybody. Michael, I love him so much. He's okay. always in a hurry to go nowhere. <laughs> please continue with what you were saying. Because oh, I was just going to say, because um, I don't politics shouldn't have anything to do with it, but on the Democratic side and the Republican side, it's just not... Say what you will about Trump, but he's the one who says, look, if you're a, a, a responsible individual. If you want to go and get this thing, that should be up to you. You know what I mean? And, and, and Whitmer is saying, no, we're going to shut everything down. We're going to let everybody lose all their businesses. And there's got to be a middle, a middle ground somewhere, you know, where, where people... I think once the, once the vaccine comes out, you should have your choice. You want to go out and risk your life by not getting vaccine? Go ahead. I'm not going to do But the same yeah. thing is, how many people a day die in the United States? They so said 3,000 3, a day. day of, uh, That's a lot of fucking people. You divide that into 50 states, how many in this state alone a day that are dying because of that? And a lot of younger people don't get the disease. The older people that are... That their immune systems exactly. are down, or they might yeah, have exactly. some medical conditions. Yeah. And I was breathing on them. I'm a bus like driver. I just did a, uh, oh. Start again. I'm a bus driver, and I just did a, a, a tour bus driver. So I drive all around the United States. And I just did a, a fraternity party for Michigan. Wow. Those people in Michigan, they do not care. They packed my bus. You mean University of Michigan? Packing and drinking like, like, like Oh, wow. You wouldn't believe. They yeah. They do not care. They do not care. Huh. I don't know whether they give it to you or not. So yeah, we're well, good. Put us on the tour as a destination point. Yourself out of that situation and you'll be fine, right? Yeah, well, Stonehouse so Bar takes down. tour buses. Stonehouse Bar welcomes tour buses. They will be open in approximately April in the springtime. Marvin, may I may I say something? I just want to, I, 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 I got to do one, a couple more. Okay, oh, sure. Emily Infinity, who's oh, Yeah, okay. thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. wonderful. Thanks. When she speaks, if you've never heard her before, you will, exp you will experience, as we all do, a bit of heaven. When she speaks. Uh -huh. and, and if anybody else is a performer and I'm missing, I, I apologize for not uh, acknowledging you. Sometimes when I do like this, I get it. I can't remember names too well. Yeah. But, uh, so, Michael, thank you for, for listening. Marvin Marvin. H-E-M-P. Uh, -E <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Uh, we have a special guest from San Francisco waiting in the wings. We will call Dr. Detroit with some technical helpers. We will broadcast him on Young Santa's Boombox in just a minute, if you can stay tuned. Thank you.